wide receiver on the market now, Pascal Burris. Uh, you know, out of the slammer, uh, uh, Drew Rosenhouse running up and jumping into his arms <laughs> is an image. I, I, you know, I'm still vomiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they should have done the marketing standpoint is he should have walked up and flipped him a football and had him catch you and tuck it away. It's like sort of like a race car driver. It's it's cold like trickle. You've, you've given this. He does a little jail <laughs> time. They hand him the keys. He drives. You I know, mean, it's got to be. I, I was talking to Plaxico, and he said, I'm so tired of being compared to Cole Trickle. It's tiresome. It's over. the last time he had a, a rowdy gange. You know, that type there of you thing. go. Uh, I think he's, everybody keeps saying he's going to go, he should sign with the Eagles. They're a leading candidate. He puts the Phillies cap on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was, that, and, uh, there's well, it symbolism was the old there. school Phillies logo, too. Oh, yeah. It was the old, 70s. It looks, it, yeah. The old school is cool. Yeah. He just got it. It looked brand new. It you did know look I mean? brand new. And, and, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think that it would be a good match. I don't know if there was any symbolism with him with the Phillies cap or not. Six foot six. His former number with the Giants, not not with the Pittsburgh Pirates, but the Giants. Was, I think he was eighty with the Steelers, but with the Giants, seventeen. Who was the famous receiver that wore seventeen with the Eagles? Yeah, Harold Carmichael. I, I see some comparisons there. Why do I like it with the Eagles? Well, I don't know what's going to happen to Deshaun Jackson. He's also very small. I love the, the his breakaway and so forth. I think he's going to slide away. If it's not this year, it's in the future, and they won't have him anymore. You get Burris on a one-year deal to see if he works out with the team. If not, he can go his way. But the red zone is the main reason. You just lob it up to the man. There's nobody who can outleap him. And out, out, he's six foot six now with long arms. He's nice. He's got good size. I, I think it's a it's a great match for him. Well, and, you know, I, I I think that there there are teams out there that sort of that sort of obviously need a wide receiver. I, I, I think that yeah, the St. Louis Rams, for example, are, are, are maybe that team. I, I think uh, th- there's, there's teams that have shaky wide receiver situations with individuals like Miami with Marshall, mm-hmm. where, where they don't know if he's going to be healthy. They don't know what his money situation is going to be. The Jets, who have two guys, uh, Braylon Edwards, and I'm drawing a blank. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, San Antonio yeah. Holmes. Good job, and yeah. and, uh, and they they might not be able to pay both of those guys. I mean, those guys. I think I think once those the, the teams that it sort of makes obvious sense for make a run at Plaxico, and, and and it doesn't happen, then I think maybe the Eagles. I think I don't think the Eagles are going to pay him a lot of money. I don't think I'm so not either. sure anybody's going to pay him a lot of money, as 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 we were talking about earlier. Uh, but but. It's it's certainly there's a there's a reasonable scenario where the Eagles could be end, end up being involved with this. Real guy. quick with that, I, I don't think that he, it's a, it should be a one year deal to see if he can still play. He's like 32 years old. Does yes. he still have his legs? And so mm-hmm. 20 sure. months is not a long time. And the crime he committed was we can talk about that in a second. It, it was, the man carried a gun in New York. They have very steep gun laws, and, and so be it. That that's fine. He shot himself. He wasn't shooting. But I don't think he want to play for the Jets. He was out of New York. Get away from New York, <laughs> dude. He's got enough experience there. And, and St. Louis, maybe the other team you mentioned in there, uh, Miami. Miami. Why would you want to go? There's no quarterback. He could be the quarterback there for. Uh, I think the Eagles would be a good situation for him in that regard. They've got a quarterback. They're set. A good offense. He and Andy Reid supposedly get along. I mean, he must have blown off Andy Reid years ago at the combine to go watch his team play in the Final Four. But the bottom line, him and Andy Reid have kept a relationship. Um, I see a lot of good things. Now, one thing I want to bring up, and I heard this one place and only one place, there is a rule that when you get out of prison, you're a convict, you're not allowed to have communication with another ex-convict. So they'd have to work that out because Michael Vick, last time I checked, is an ex-convict. So he cannot, they cannot be together. You know, Somebody asked Michael Vick in an interview, did you talk to him yet? And he said no. Well, he's not allowed to be talking to him. There's a reason why he said no. So uh, that would have to be worked out, but I think I, I, I'm sure that could be. It can I'm be sure that out. can be worked out, but you know, I, I think one of the things that you were saying, kind of anticipating what you said earlier, is is that the Eagles are going to get this reputation of being like the home for 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 ex convicts, and 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 this is not this what Plaxico Burris right. did does not compare to what Michael Vick did. I mean, this guy, I, I, I'm not right. I'm not willing to quite call this guy a thug I, because he was dumb enough to have a to have a gun with him in a right. nightclub. And and, and inept enough to shoot himself with the gun, uh, not quite the same thing. So, but people are going to say that perception is reality, and people are going to say that regardless. It was a boneheaded thing when it happened. I, as an Eagles fan, I was glad to see him not with the Giants anymore, and I laughed about it. Now he's free. I'd like to have him over here. <laughs>